Hello and welcome back to the Spider's Web. We're doing this well today. We're finishing off the Plague faction. Let's get on with it, shall we? <laughs> right, what I need to do is work out exactly where the red is going to be going. I think I've got a fur idea of where I'd like it to go. Okay, so let's get on with it, shall we? And we're going to start off along the arms. little spots here and there where it looks as though the gaps in the bony parts bony parts I'm still calling him Napoleon now aren't we there's another and another so just look and see where you can see if you can see any of these little holes and gaps anywhere that you can apply the red too. I'm just say we're going to be going over with the black to cover up any of these details that we've uh, we shouldn't have painted red but I think that is everything just a few little bits and few little gaps in that but we can't really get the brush in there so it's nothing really to worry about. The wash that we put on later could probably cover that. In fact it could, could probably have been a better idea painting the whole thing, undercoating the whole thing red <coughs> and then going over the going over the bony parts with the black. So I'm going to get the black and I'm going to just go over And for that red, I've used the Wazdaka, which is the darker of the two reds I've got. But now we're going to be using, as I say, Abaddon Black for just touching up the black areas. Well, gone over with the red.
was hoping to get the, uh, the black done now and then I could uh, concentrate on the um, what do we call it? On the um, oh, applying the green, but mind you, I can do that. There's not all that much of it that's been touched up, so I'll just watch where I'm putting the green for the time being. So, here we go. I'm just going to change brushes to the big, uh, large brush, rather. And we're using for this our usual Caliban Green. As always we go over the areas that are black Okay, so we're going, getting close to the end of this now. Um, there are a few areas I'm going to have to just tickle back over with the red, but not on that many. Um, but we've done the, we've done the red, we've done the green. So I think that's about everywhere. I can't see any more. Um, were, which is just black <clears throat> so I'm not too concerned about the being black showing under that green on this particular model um, for the simple reason being it's going to rather act as much darker shadow um, but before I do anything else oh, I've just dropped me red I've just dropped me just dropped me red so again we're using Wazdaka just to touch in a few areas where I've caught the red with the green. Um, we're not going overboard with this. Um, it's just as I said, a touch up here and there in a few small areas. You finished? <laughs> what he's decided, as per usual, he's going to jump in behind me when I start the, to do the fiddly areas. Don't start sighing, sunshine. <laughs> um, I think that was everywhere. I don't think I've. Oops. A little bit the. A little bit the. I mean, I could do with going over the red again. I'm going to do his face anyway, if nothing else. Um, the simple reason being it's looking a little 
because uh, it's not covered fully with the uh, the red over the um, over the black primer. I think that is all. I don't think there's anywhere else. Not quite done. Not quite dried fully, but as I say, I think it's dried enough for the purposes of me putting a, a wash over the red. And the wash I'm going to be using is the Drakenhof Nightshade. This guy is not going to be as pale as the others. I'm going to have the fleshy parts of this fella a lot darker. So it won't be as pale pink when I come to highlight. Um, I think it's just a case of, I think it should be just a little bit dark with, with it being mutated a little longer, it's uh, flesh or the fleshy areas would have been exposed to her uh, and uh, the elements a little more so may have been affected in such a way to darken them all up a bit um, so I won't do it that way There we go. And there's that. Base coated and washed. So now we just wait for that to um, that to dry and then we can carry on with the highlighting and painting. And whatever such stuff that we need to do with it. Um, When we come back, it'll be a case of highlighting this fella, finishing off the crate, and then that'll be it. End of story. Then I can start on my uh, oh dear God Almighty, what are they called again? Enforcers. Hey, get me memories going. Okay, so until next time, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now.